Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run your LG dishwasher through various service test modes. Let's get started. Running the dishwasher through test mode will help us troubleshoot different functions and parts on the dishwasher. If the dishwasher doesn't pass or function correctly during one of the tests, it doesn't mean that that part is specifically bad. It is helping you narrow down the problem to that area of the dishwasher. You'll need to do some further troubleshooting to narrow down your problem. In each test, the control panel will display a number or letter combination, which we'll go more in depth on later. For all of these tests, you are going to need to enter test mode by first pressing the power and start buttons at the same time. Once in test mode, all of the lights will turn on and the display will flash. Before starting this first test, close the detergent dispenser door followed by the dishwasher door. Then press the start button. If working properly, the solenoid on the dispenser will activate and open the detergent door. If the dispenser door does not open, you may have a bad dispenser or the dispenser may not be receiving the power signal from the main control board telling it to open. Here, the display is showing the sump temperature in Celsius. The second test checks the door vent blower motor. This part is comprised of two pieces, the fan motor and the vent. If the fan motor fails, the dishwasher may not dry properly or it may be noisier during the dry cycle. If the vent fails, the wax motor may not open or close the vent properly, which may also cause issues with not drying properly or water accumulating inside the housing. Press the start button to run this test. If working properly, you should be able to hear or see the fan running and see the vent open. Here the display is showing you're on test number two. Test number three checks the soil sensor. The soil sensor measures the clarity of the water to help determine how dirty the water is. Based on what the sensor measures, the dishwasher may adjust the amount of time needed to clean the dish load. To test this, press the start button. Here the display is showing the current soil level with clean water. Test four checks the drain motor. Press the start button to enter this test. You should hear the drain motor running and the display is showing the drain motor revolutions per minute. If the drain motor isn't running, this could indicate a bad drain motor, a physical obstruction keeping the motor from running, or it might not be receiving power signal from the main control board, which could be caused by a bad board or wiring between the two. Test five is for the water inlet valve. The water inlet valve has a solenoid that opens and closes that controls the water flow into the dishwasher. Press start to run this test. Here, LG says the display is showing frequency, but our interpretation is that it's measuring the amount of water flowing into the machine. Here's what happens when you turn off the water supply. If it is not filling with water, the water supply from the house may be restricted, the inlet valve may be bad, or it might not be receiving a power signal from the main control board, which could be caused by a bad board or wiring between the two. Also, don't let the dishwasher sit in this mode for too long, as it will continue to fill with water. The next test checks the washing motor. The wash motor circulates water through the wash arms in the dishwasher to clean the dishes. Again, press start to begin the test. Here, the display is showing the washing motor revolutions per minute. If the wash motor isn't running, this could indicate a bad wash motor, a physical obstruction keeping the motor from running, or it might not be receiving a power signal from the main control board, which could be caused by a bad board or wiring between the two. Test seven checks the washing heater vario valve. This valve varies the water between the upper and lower spray arms during the wash cycle. Press the start button to run this test. From our observations, it will start by displaying one UN, which diverts water to the upper wash arms. It will then switch to one LO, which diverts water to the lower spray arm. When complete, the display will show zero LO. If NE is displayed, that indicates that there is a failure in the vario valve system. Now, press the start button one final time to exit test mode. If you find that you have any bad parts and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you get the correct parts. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.